Hi, this is Ahmed Alugaili and Manos Berlakis presenting case 227 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This case illustrates use of an invisible CC0 septal for a retrograde CTO intervention. The patient was a young man with uh, ischemic cardiomyopathy and mildly reduced ejection fraction with uh, a right coronary CTO and inferior ischemia who was referred for PCI of the RCA CTO to improve symptoms after a previous failed attempt. This is the coronary angiogram. There is a metallic aortic valve. We do have a CTO of the proximal right coronary artery. There is a relatively uh, long occlusion length, uh, uh, 30, 40 millimeters, diffusely diseased distal vessel. And there are some collaterals feeding the distal right coronary artery. However, it's hard to visualize uh, a continuous connection coming from the septals to the posterior lateral. This was done through radial and femoral axis. And uh, this is the assessment, ambiguous cap, 30, 40 millimeters length, diffusely diseased distal vessel. The septals were not continuous, but nevertheless, we know that even non-continuous septals often do connect between the LAD and the right coronary artery. So in this particular case, our plan was to start with uh, a retrograde approach through the septals. If it doesn't work, uh, do undergrade dissection re-entry using the side-based technique to enter into the extra plug space in the CTO. And if that didn't work, uh, then uh, possibly attempt a retrograde through a small tortuous epicardiac collateral from the circumflex that was really not very appealing. So this was a last resort and still we're not convinced we're going to uh, take the risk for going through the collateral. So we entered the first septal using a microcatheter. We did uh, surfing didn't work, then we did a tip injection. We don't really see a continuous connection between the septal and the right posterior descending artery. Nevertheless, we decided to surf it. So this is an LP, turnpike LP, along with the SU-03 guide wire. We're advancing the guide wire with simultaneous uh, rotation. We're not using a torqueer for using um, this uh, surfing technique. And if it doesn't work, we pull it back and then try to redirect. And eventually it does find a way and seems to be going in the right direction as confirmed by contralateral injection. However, the problem, and this is not infrequent with the small CC0 collaterals, is that the microcatheter would not cross. So what to do next, and there is a fairly well-defined algorithm about the next options. The two main strategies are strategies that increase support and potentially strategies that modify the collateral. In this particular case, uh, we did use uh, a new microcatheter, a Caravel, that has a lower profile. And uh, we also used uh, a guide extension on the retrograde guide to increase the support. And after doing that, this is with a trap liner that was advanced all the way to the origin of the septal. And then uh, using the Caravel microcatheter, we were able actually relatively easily to advance the Caravel all the way to the distal right coronary. So now we're well positioned for crossing that CTO. This is a retrograde Gladius Mongo guide wire that is advanced. It's very, very close to the proximal cap. And then uh, um, we were able to cross retrograde two to true into the under into the undergrade guide catheter, which obviously facilitates uh, significantly the process of uh, externalizing a guide wire and treating the CTO. So in this case of uh, short CTOs, two to two crossing from the distal true lumen to the proximal true lumen can be feasible, and then. Um, with um, multiple attempts, one may be able to advance the guide wire into the undergrade guide catheter. After externalization, the first step is to disengage the donor guide so that there is no potential injury on the donor vessel if there is movement or difficulty delivering. And then uh, predilated the lesion, perform intravascular ultrasound, and we see that actually we had been in the intraplug space. For the most part, there are some areas of hematoma um, that was during undergrade wire manipulations, but essentially that was two to two crossing all the way from the proximal cap to the distal cap. Place to drag a looting stents. 
And unfortunately, the flow is not very good. We see there's some flow to the distal RCA, but it's very poor. The vessel distally looks um, diffusely diseased with a possible dissection. The most common reason for this in this particular case was uh, the dissection distally. So we placed an additional stand at the distal edge of the previous stands. And this actually provided um, a good flow, allowed good flow into the PDA, into the right posterior lateral. Several lessons from this case. Uh, the first one is that even when the septal collaterals do not seem to have a continuous connection and geographically between the LAD and the right coronary artery, still sometimes they can be crossed using the surfing technique. In this case, we did use a SUO3 guide wire that successfully found a pathway. But then one of the common problems from crossing a invisible septal collateral, a CC0, as we say, grade Werner grade 0 collateral, is that the microcatheter may have difficulty crossing the collateral. In these cases, there are several things that can be done, but the most common are to use a different microcatheter, usually a lower profile, such as the Caravel used in this case, and to increase the support on the retrograde guide, which was achieved here by using a retrograde guide extension. For relatively um, short CTOs, to do true uh, crossing can be done, and this was achieved in this case using the retrograde Gladius Mongo wire. And then finally, after standing, we had a poor undergrade flow. The reason was uh, residual dissection or significant disease distally, and that was solved after placing an additional dragon looting stand. Thank you.